So the British and Irish Lions tour is currently taking place. They've had some warm-up games and the test against the Springboks starts in a couple of weeks. Now, it's really nice to see that teams get ex-managers, ex-players in to give speeches to the players, to give them a little bit of a boost and motivation. And there's two that I've got lined up. Now, I've got Sir Ian McEachin's uh, speech. That's going to happen in a few days, a week. But today, I want to look at Jim Telfer's Everest speech. What does he say that gets the players motivated to do their best and play for their countries? Let's check it out. Also, I'm so excited to watch the actual test series. Uh, it's been okay for the warm-ups, but the test series is, is going to be good. There's no way we go back. We take every step forward. Nothing, nothing stops us. And I need to get it fixed in your mind. I love that he's he's getting the chairs ready. He's obviously had a speech that he's written and he wants to get word for word so that he can almost allows him to get the passion and the the drive behind it. And I love that he's practicing his speech beforehand. Easy bit is passed. Selection for the test team is the easy bit. You have an awesome responsibility on the eight individual forwards shoulders. Awesome responsibility. This is your Everest boys. What's interesting here is he's not talking to the whole team. He's talking to a set set amount of players in their positions. I think they're the forwards, if I'm right. Look at the players' eyes. Look at them looking at Jim. They're not, you know, there's certain individuals that are not taking their eyes off him. His words mean something to them. Very few ever get a chance in rugby terms to give for Everest, the top Everest. You have the chance to do. Being picked is the easy bit. To win for a line, for the Lions in a test match, is the ultimate. But you'll not do it unless you put your bodies in the line. Every one jack of you for 80 minutes. Defeat doesn't worry me. I've had it often and so have you. It's performance at matters. If you put in the performance, you'll get what you deserve. No luck attached to it. That is brilliant. What he's saying is, it's not about luck. And I don't believe in luck. I don't think there's any such thing as luck. Coincidence, maybe. But what he's saying is, for 80 minutes, if you put in everything you've got, you will reach the summit, which is the Everest. You will do it if you put in 100%. That, that is a message that you can use for so much. If you put the work in, you put the effort in for the amount of time you need to, you will succeed. It's 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 something that can be said all the time to so many different occasions, but the way he's saying it and relating it to the rug, you know, rugby and the Lions is brilliant. If you don't put it in, if you're not honest, then we're second raters. They don't rate us. They don't respect us. They don't respect you. They don't rate you. The only way to be rated is to stick one on them. Look at him. The, just the eyes. He's not looking anywhere else. To get it right up in their faces and turn them back, knock them back, outdo what they can do, out jump them, out scrum them, out rock them, out drive them, out tackle them. Remember the pledges you made. Remember how you depend on each other. You depend on each other at every phase, teams within teams. Scrums, liners, ruck balls, tackles. They are better 
than he's played against so far. They are better individually, or they wouldn't be there. So it's an awesome task you have. It will only be done, as I say, if everybody commits himself now. That was written yesterday about us. Read it silently, take note of it, and then make a pledge. You are privileged. You are the chosen few. Many are considered, but few are chosen. That's another interesting thing. Making sure that the players know that, yes, they've earned the right, but they've got to appreciate that there were plenty of people fighting for that position and they managed to get it. And it's almost not letting down others now. You know, you've been chosen over other people. You know, you need to work your ass off. And and so that almost that the other people, that they were right to choose you over someone else. The weak point is the scrum. The box must exploit this weakness. The box must concentrate on the eight-man shove every scrum. Scrummaging will be the key. Oh. Now, as I said, I think I'm right in the fact that those are all forwards. The forwards who will get involved in the scrums and the rucks. He is basically, Jim Telfer is basically saying that they think that almost the forwards are the weak point. Imagine being told that. Imagine, for example, if I relate this to football, because I know football, and, and, and I played as a right back. So I'm on the right side of defence. Imagine if I heard the other team saying that I was the weak point of the team. Wow. I think that would motivate me personally to do better. And I think that's what he's trying to get here. They, you know, the other teams think that the forwards are the weak point. So you must prove them wrong. Their weakness is the scrum. Nobody's going to do it for you. You have to find your own solace, your own drive, your own ambition, your, your own inner strength, because the moment's arriving for the greatest game of your in life. Did Jim Telfer just walk out? Look how they're all sort of impacted by it. it the, that sort of... Jim Telfer's clearly just walked out to, to almost allow them to have their thoughts and what he said for them to digest it. What I think is really good, so the, the, the really good points about this speech, firstly, like I said at the end, it's making them feel like they have to prove because the other team doesn't think they're as good. They have to prove their worth and that they are as they are better than the than the other than the oppositions think. Telling them that they have to prove their worth. They there were plenty of people that were knocking on the door, but they were the ones that were chosen. Don't give anyone a, a, a reason to think that they shouldn't have been picked so you try and the third thing in that, that he mentioned first was there's no such thing as luck if you put everything you've got for 80 minutes then you will succeed and I think that's the ultimate thing you put the work in you will succeed I think this was a really good speech he uh, Jim Telfin almost knew when to be quiet and somber but also raise the voice when the tension and, and the, the passion then starts building up. So a really good one, Jim Telfer. Hope, hopefully in McGeechan's speech is just as good. I'm sure it will be. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. 
Are there any other speeches that you think inspired you, inspired the teams? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you next time.